Get ready to tone and lengthen with Ballet Body's master trainer, Romy Rivera. Thanks, Anna. There's no equipment needed for this workout, and we've got all levels covered. So let's do this. All right, girls, you ready? We got Dre, Christina, Cynthia, and Anna, and we're doing this. So let's start with a little warm up. We're gonna stretch out. Our feet are parallel, a little wider than hip distance. Stretch the body up, big inhale. Let's fold it all the way down, lengthen those hamstrings. We're gonna drop that head, shake it out, release your neck. Let's place our palms down. Anna's gonna be doing the modification, so if you need to place your hands on your shins, go for that. You're gonna bend the knees into a plie, press into your palms and press your hips up to the sky. Push the air out. And three more, bend it down. And stretching the back of the legs longer each time. Two more, bend. Hands down, hips up. Let's do one more. Bend those knees as the hips reach up. Reach the head down to the floor. Let's walk our hands to our right ankle. Arch your chest up to the right corner of your mat. Big inhale. Oh, wow. That's oh. a deep stretch. And let's pull into that leg. Feel it. And same thing over to the left. Arch it up, just opening up all those muscles before we get going into our cardio pushing. And pull into that leg. Push the air out. Let's go to the center. Hands on your shins. Arch your chest up. Open your heart. Let's wiggle our booties a little bit. Get that length. Yeah, have a little fun with it. And Stretch. let's slide those hands down to your ankles. Grab them. Pull in your legs actively. From here, let's grab a hold of our elbows underneath us. Hang. Little waterfall hang here. Just release the weight. Let gravity do the work. And a little seaweed sway from side to side. Ooh, I like that. Yes. Seaweed sway. Get it. And let's drop our hands down heavy. You're going to bend your knees, keep your knees a little bent, and use your legs to roll the spine up all the way. Stretch the arms out to the side. Big inhale up. And let's open the arms up to the side. You're going to turn your feet out into a second position so we're nice and open when we're standing here. So the warm-up part is going to be a little bit of a balance challenge. So let's just start with some plies to get our center opening up. Arms into first and really open the arms, open the chest. It's really important during this to think about your low abs and your upper back working together. That's what's gonna help you keep your posture. All right. You have such good posture, Romy. I mean, you gotta work on it. Yeah. You gotta think about it. All right, a couple more. On the next one, we're gonna press up onto our left leg and try and find our balance. Right leg out to a degage, up, and the same leg. We're gonna keep this going, just trying to find that split second of a balance. Now when you're doing it, to keep it balletic, you want to keep your hips pushing towards that supporting leg and reach your ribs in the opposite direction so you're not tilting out into a star. And that way you're going to really access that supporting booty. Woo! Oh, this is working seconds. already. Yes. yes, 30 seconds of this. Really trying to find that suspension and really lift it up each time. Keep it going. About 20 more seconds. Lift. Oh my goodness, that leg lift. Up. Woo! About 10 more seconds of this. Really think lifting up through your ears. Really open out, get that suspension. On the next one, let's hold it up and hold your balance. Just dégagés. Now as we're doing this, you want to keep all the weight on your supporting leg. Lifting up out of that supporting hip. Lifting up through your ears. Now if you feel like if you've done ballet before, maybe you feel pretty strong about your balance, you can add that extra challenge. You can touch into a coupe, stretch, and then close. Just adding one touch each time, if you feel up for it, or you can just keep going with that dégagé. Let's go 30 seconds from here. Lifting up out of that supporting side. Ooh, Squeeze your supporting glute. Let it work. Relax shoulders. Shoulder blades drawing towards one another, about 20 more seconds. And breathing tall. It's all about the posture. Go ahead, 10 more seconds. In and out. Woo! Almost there. Oh yeah, that's the pull ah, leg. Yeah. That glute is on fire. <laughs> All right, like, guys. Oh. On the next one, let's hold our leg up. Ah, let's curtsy. Across, bend it down low. And reach, yes. Drive through your supporting heel so you really get that posterior line of that supporting leg to help lift you up. 30 seconds from here, yes. out. That was required. Absolutely, that was required. Yes. My left cheek is on fire. Yes. <laughs> it's a what's up, girl? How are you doing? Can I get a little lower then? Out. Dig into it. And if you want to put on some music and maybe just do like four counts of eight, you just kind of play with it. 
Oh, you're definitely feeling the arms too. Oh, Hello. Oh my goodness, <laughs> I know everything. <laughs> I mean, you could also grab some wrist weights or ankle weights if you had them at home, just to add a little extra something. Good, let's do three more. Three, down. Last one, get low. Woo, second position. All right, let's press up onto the balls of the toes, arms in first. Fingertips right in front of your navel. We're just gonna balance here. Now push through the balls of your toes so the heels are really high. Now squeeze your inner thighs in as tight as you can. Shoulders back, feel your upper back and your lower abs working together, arms up. Keep pushing through the floor and squeeze those inner thighs. And open out 10 more seconds, lift up through your ears. <sighs> Ooh, nice calf yes. work here. Feeling it all through Lift my legs. Up and plie down. Ooh. All right, let's do it on the other side. Let's do it. Let's open it out nice and big and wide. Shoulders back. Keep your posture as we bend down and up. And really open the heart, open the arms, and lift through the crown of the head. Even when you descend here, you want to keep your posture lifting. So it's not about the down, it's about the up. Oh, I like that. Keeping yes. that frame of mind. Opposition. All right, let's do it. On the next one, let's go up on our right leg and lift. Yes, find that suspension. So remember, to get that balance, you want to shove your hip over that supporting side and ribs in the opposite direction. So you get that nice straight line and that booty is going to engage that way. Yep. Yeah. Up. Yeah. <laughs> let's go 30 seconds from here, ladies. Yeah. And up. Up. Yeah, get that suspension. Wow. Yeah, that suspension is tough. 20 more seconds. <laughs> Get it in the obliques, too, because you really have to. I know, right? Listen to that leg. How are you guys doing? Woo! Great. Burning. <laughs> 10. Open. Don't forget that upper back working with your lower abs. Let's hold up on this next one. Hold. Woo! Degage. Down and up. Now keep all that weight on your supporting legs. You're not resting that working leg down. I just floating out and in, lifting up out of your supporting hip. Feel that glute squeezing in. All right, if you want that extra challenge for your balance, if you're up for it, add the coupe in and out. One or the other. Once again, it's all about just your supporting side working and lifting you up. Woo! Oh my goodness. I'm breathless. Anyone going for this. the coupe behind me? I am. I can't yes. see because I'm working my balance too. Up. Occasionally. Right. Okay. <laughs> yes. Test it out, play with it. One or the other. My shoulders say hi. Keep Hello. it going. <laughs> Keep Mine dropping right there, those you? shoulders down. You want to think like your arms are positioned so if you dropped water in your shoulder, it would roll down and drop out of your fingertips. Good. On this next one, let's hold it out and curtsy. Across and out, woo! Oh boy. Get that balance. So once again, Driving down through your supporting heels to get that posterior line. And scoop those abs in. It'll actually help engage your glute, which will help your balance. 30 seconds. Oh, this Lift. right glute is saying. Oh my gosh, oh. yeah, this what is where you. What you doing, girl? Let's get lower. <laughs> get it in. Yes, woo! Oh my goodness. Woo! About 10 more seconds. We got, got this, we got this. Almost there. Woo. I respect those ballerinas. Low. Last one, low. Lift it up. And second position, push. Abs in. Heart up. Shoulders back. Let's reach the arms. Breathe up. Shoulders down the back. Hold your low abs in and up. Arms open. Woo, breathe up. And drop it down. All right, that was our warm up. Oh my gosh. We're gonna go right Amazing into our warm cardio. Up. Feel it everywhere. <laughs> Woo, let's do it. Yeah. All right, make sure my pants are adjusted correctly. And we're gonna just touch a tondu, which means to point, reach the opposite hands, you get that nice diagonal line. And we're just gonna switch. So the front leg stays straight, you're bending into the back leg to get low, and switch. Let's just get a little pace, just getting the movement, and reach and reach. So just nice and controlled here for a moment. Reach. Soft arms. Make it pretty. Just getting that little bit of movement through the waist, but always staying lifted up out of your hips. 
And that way you're really gonna work your core here. Yeah, yeah. feel that stretch. Keeping that posture, all about the posture. So it makes it look like really easy when you see ballerinas. <laughs> it's not easy, let me no. tell you. All right, one more set like this. All right, let's pick it up double time. And go, go. 30 seconds. You can keep with Anna, and you can just keep it if you want to keep low impact. That's totally fine. You can just work on that waist. Channeling my black swan, Ooh. inner swan. Let it go. Yes. Let it flow. 20 more seconds. Woo. Go. Go. Love it. Get it. Soft arms. 10 more seconds. Just live in the prima ballerina dream oh, over here. Yeah. <laughs> All right, let's stabilize your lower body, pelvis. <laughs> Boxing arms, reach. We always like to do cross training and dance. It keeps your body nice and healthy. So on this, we're focusing on keeping your pelvis totally still and working the upper body movement through the waist. Now, if the twist is too much, you can also just do the arms, that's totally fine. I like that little twist though, it feels good. Yeah, it feels Especially good. I can't do crunches do right now. This really gets right. the oblique feeling tight. A little bit, yeah. Keep it going, 20 more steps. Woo, Woo. Woo. go. <laughs> 10 more seconds. Oh yeah, shoulders, feel that burn. So stabilizing the lower body, moving the upper body. Four more seconds. Now we're gonna reverse and we're gonna twist the lower body. Stabilize and rotate. Now if the jumping's too much, you can just do heel shifts and just let those hips go from side to side. Or you can add it a little bit more cardio and let it really twist. Now trying to stabilize the shoulders. Hips are moving from side to side. Let those toes point from one wall to the other. Let's go 20 more seconds from here. It's hard to isolate, but that's I know, right? I know. You're using it is. The core. Yes. Ten more seconds. Let Woo. it twist. Twist. Let's do booty kicks. Boxing arms. When you do this, flex the foot. Try and get a quad stretch here. Now you can just do this nice and controlled, or let's add a little jump. Flex the feet. Scoop your abs in, reach down through your knees so you get that open hip position. 30 seconds. Yes, get it. I mean, you could even add your boxing arms here if you wanted to, if you made it, want to make it a little extra. Either way, keep those hands up in line with your tempos. Try not to let them drop down here, so you're still getting that arm work. 20. And you're flexing your foot, right? Yeah. So you're trying to get that heel. Get that posterior yeah. line. That feels like a lot big of a difference when you Yes. Flex. 10. Three, two, Whew. one. Let's step onto our right leg. Reach. No messing around with Romeo. Yes. Okay, it's going to the back to our balance, ladies. You're gonna lift the leg up, touch and lift. Up, up. Keep this going, 30 seconds. Lift. We have a little bend in our supporting leg here, just to feel yourself rounded. Arms in fourth, nice and pretty, reaching to your corner. 15. Lift. Ooh, breathe. What's going on here? Balance, Ooh, girls. Nine more seconds. It's amazing how you have to keep everything tight. Yes. Yes, you do. <laughs> That's what we're doing. Let's hold it up. Straighten your supporting leg. Reach your left arm back. Pulse. Up. <laughs> Shoulders down. Waist and lift up on your right leg. Lift out of your right hip. Oh gosh. Keep it going. Woo! Stretch your back leg. This is a Higher. booty exercise I've never felt before, Romy. 10 more seconds. Go. We can do it. Ah! Doing it. Five, four, three, two, lift up. Oh. Oh. Shake it out. All right, 90 degree angle. Before we do the other side, let's high knee it. So once again, you can do this nice and controlled. Try not to move your hands, no slapping the knees down. And if you want to pick it up, we'll pick it up. Now when you do high knees, it's about your core. So you actually want to get those knees really high, navel pulling in. 
We do 20 more seconds of this. Just getting that nice heart rate going. Just keeping the body moving, keeping the flow. 10 more seconds, woo! Point your toes on this one. Keep the posture. Five, four, three, two, and rest. All right, step over onto our opposite leg. Reach that back leg. Feel your weight. Reach to the opposite corner. Lift that leg up, and 30 seconds, touch and lift. Staying grounded, shoulders are down, heart is open. Up, up, keep it going. Keep relaxing those shoulders, feel your neckline. Mm, good reminder. Yes, really energize that back leg so it's really straight. On the next one, let's hold it up and stretch up on your supporting leg, right arm back, pulse it up. Feel it all the way up through my trap. I mean, every muscle yeah. in my oblique and back and booty. It is working full body here. I love that. Keep your waist pulling in. The more you use your abs, the more you're actually gonna engage your glute. Woo, try to look at the camera and it threw me off. Woo. I would not be able to move my head right now. Right? I'm somewhere else. I mean, that's an extra balance exercise. Let's go 10, nine, eight, seven, six, Five, four, three, let's lift it up. Oh. Rest. Wow. One second rest. I'm gonna do that cardio. Rest the booty. Okay. One more time. Okay. okay. <laughs> yeah. Everyone's sparkling, a little yes. glisten going. Glistening happening. <laughs> glistening. <laughs> Lots of glistening. We don't sweat, we sparkle. Here we go. So we're gonna touch. Let's just work on that line. Yep. And switch. Reach. Whew. Okay, just nice and pretty. A cross touch. One more set like this. I think we got that form. Let's pick it up. Up to you if you want to go a little bit more. Go. 30 seconds. Cross. Letting that little movement through your waist. 20. It's just that reach up with that <clears throat> arm too. It's amazing how that really works the sides. That whole line, right? Feel that stretch. big stretch. Woo. Five. All right. Round those feet, bend it down. Stabilize your pelvis and your hip bones. And boxing arms. Upper body moving. Once again, keep those hands up. So it's coming back to the temple. Right, not down here. Keep it up high, eye level. 20 more seconds. You put on some music, whatever pace you want. You could stabilize and just burn out the arms if you have like some wrist weights on. <laughs> I don't even need those I right like, now. We don't need no extra. Get a little lower. <laughs> burning. Really ground into your feet. All right. And let's twist. Once again, you can keep it low impact and not lift up with the balls of your toes. And you can just shift the heels, totally fine. Or you can add a little extra. Yeah. Sometimes we want it extra. Woo. Okay. Get that ballet body moving. <laughs> doing it. Stabilize those shoulders. Doesn't even feel like you're doing it. Yeah. It feels like dancing. But it my is. heart rate has been high I mean, the whole time. You can add the arms when you're doing, you're putting on a, with your girlfriend or your guy friend. <laughs> 15. Doing the twist. 10 more seconds. Five. Woo. Breathing. Woo. All right. Boxing arms. Booty kicks. Flex that foot. Kick it back and go. 30. Keep it low impact like Anna and add her arms. She's getting it as she can. Or you can just keep it up into the bicep and stabilize the muscle, which works it. Hamstrings are on fire with Good. this. 10. Up, five. All right, let's step it over. Yes, reach your arms, reach your heart. 30 seconds, let's do it, touch and lift. Whoop, whoop, up, lift. Energize it up, into the booty, pull your abs in. Stretch your waist, shoulders down. Reach the toes, point. Everybody got quiet, we're focusing. 
<laughs> Five more seconds. Yes. And let's lift it up. Left arm back, straighten up, pulse. Lift up on that right side. Shoulders down. Lift up out of your right hip. You'll feel that supporting leg working to really stabilize. Yeah. I feel every piece of my body working right, right now. Yeah, everything. <laughs> 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Let's lift it up. Oh! Woo! Woo you know we got high knees. You're getting there. Here we go. 90 degree angle. Keep those palms up and touch them. Point your toes. Sometimes it's good to take your time and go a little slower than you might want, because then you can get a little deeper than you might go. High knees. Try to go for higher knees rather than quicker. Yeah. 10 more seconds. Good ladies, looking good. Oh, we're doing it. I feel my body heat activated. Oh, mommy. Look how Three. high you get those knees, girl. All right. Yeah. Other side. I love how everybody I know everyone Woo. takes a big, yeah. deep breath after that. Breathe. Here we go. Reach your heart. Reach your arms forth. Touch and lift. Here we go. Look. Up. Uh-huh. I'm about to drip in a minute. Lift up through the ears. Woo. Here we go. Lift. Stretch. Soft arms. About 10 more seconds. I love actually experiencing this because you make it look so easy. Oh, but then girl, it is not. But then like me, it's like every muscle is challenged and, and we make it look like it feels. You're doing it. <laughs> but it's good to practice, you know? Do it more, the better it gets. And let's rest it down. Oh, excuse me, we forgot our pulses. Woo, let's we hold it up, you. stretch it up. Oh, it's okay. I, I Don't want to miss that one. It's our fave. I didn't mind that little break in between. <laughs> Lift. Ballerina so play. <laughs> yes. I'm mad at not pulsing. Woo! Oh. Oh. Relax that upper body. Stretch through that back leg. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5. Oh, I'm shivering. Three, stretch it up. <laughs> Woo! Ooh. Yes, you oh did it. God. Ladies, that was our cardio my portion. My lower body is. Of our workout. Free. Yes. Ooh, let's take a little breath. We gotta catch our breath. A little water break, yeah? Good, because I needed a sip of Me too. I'm so dry. <laughs> breathing. I gotta get some of this. Mm. Oh, and you know, Propel provides Gatorade electrolytes with zero added sugar. So it's a really great way to rehydrate during your workout. Absolutely. Which I really need right now. It tastes yeah. delicious. Me and my little one need extra electrolytes in this workout. Every day. <laughs> in every workout. Yes. All right. Do a little stretch, yeah? Oh. All right, so let's go ahead. Or actually, excuse me, we're not doing a stretch yet. We got our booty isolation to go. Oh, oh my God. Not booty yet. <laughs> my favorite part. All right, all fours. So once again, if nothing else, think about your posture. We're not sinking, we're not relaxed with our upper body. You're lengthening your spine. You're sandwiching your corset from the back and the front. Let's reach our left leg straight back, ladies. Arabesque. So while we're doing this, not only are you focusing on your posture, but you're trying to stabilize everything except for that leg. No bending the elbow, straight arms. Pull the knee to your shoulder side attitude. In and out, 30 seconds. Let's do it. Really try and turn it out so the knee is higher than the foot. Long through your head. So you're working that supporting booty as well to stabilize the rest of your body. 15. These are my favorite. I mean, I could do this, this is forever. This like the perfect core exercise for someone who yeah. can't do crunches. I mean, since oh, yeah. I'm not doing crunches, Right. I just love all the work on the obliques I feel with this booty. Yeah, bit. and just this position, you gotta hold yeah. the belly in yep. gently. <sighs> Let's hold it into our side. Hold, hydrate, so you're gonna close the knee and open it, but don't rest it down. So all the way to staying on your supporting leg, 
And a lot of time, most likely, you'll feel that supporting booty working the most. Yeah. Oh, I'm feeling it. <laughs> 30 seconds from here. Yes, my supporting booty says hi. Yeah. <laughs> and I don't mind if you like stick it out a little bit. Sometimes it helps to work it a little bit more, as long as you're holding your core in to support your back. <sighs> oh, yeah. It's my favorite feeling. Yeah. It's the best. Whee! Let's keep it going. 10 more seconds. Uh-huh. Lift in. It's tightening. Ooh, five more seconds. Woo, got it. We're gonna keep getting this. One more. Same sort of movement. Now take it into a circle. Doesn't matter which way you start. Any direction you want, because we're gonna go both ways. You know it. Big circle. Stabilize your body. Really go over the top of the circle. Yeah. Over the top. Yeah. I always think about yes, drawing a big circle <laughs> with your knee, right? So yeah. Knee stays bent. Don't make sure you don't straighten the leg. So you're really working into the hip. All those small stabilizing muscles in the hip really get the work here, huh? Right. So healthy for your body, yeah. too, to keep you injury free mm -hmm. with anything you do. Ten more seconds this direction. Oh, I reversed. <laughs> Not yet. Dre, keep it. And let's reverse. Let's ah. do it. And keep all of a sudden, shoulders are starting to kick in, right? Because I'm starting to use Full the ground body. as a little bit of uh -huh. counter resistance. Keep lifting your heart. Get back into that right hip. Really feel the weight into your right knee mostly. Mm -hmm. Let it burn. Is anybody else feeling this in their core? Oh, yeah. Okay. I was just you like, guys feeling it? <laughs> everywhere. <laughs> My whole body. Everywhere, everywhere. Yes. These isolation moves are so good because you really can't cheat. And you can feel your back drop too, so it's important, right, to really make sure you know those are arching your back. That. About five more seconds. Two more. One more. Yeah, let's drop it down on our elbows. Keep our booties up. Reach that left leg straight back. You're gonna touch the floor. Now when I do this, I kinda like to keep my booty up here and stabilize my core and then just lift up into it and then right back down. And let's do it, 30 seconds up. Oh, this is a nice topper. <laughs> yeah, I'd say. <sighs> yes. I don't feel my right cheek. I know. <laughs> I don't know about you guys at home, but I'm feeling that supporting leg work. Yeah. Oh. <sighs> and in the middle, it's like I'm Don't to stop. Get it, get it. Oh my God. You got it. Ten. Here we go. Woo. Woo. Five more seconds. Almost there. Let's hold it up. Last move on this side. Hold it higher. Pulse it. Oh. Now when you do this, don't think down up. Hold it as high as you can and just think up, 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 up. up, up so it's up. small. <laughs> <laughs> Is that what I sound like? That was a little <laughs> song and dance that I back know. there. Helps. Keep going, 20 more seconds. Woo! Woo! We got this, ladies. Yes. Oh, man. Reach back through that leg. Pull your abs in. Keep it high, Anna. Don't let it drop. Keep it above hip height. Now let's hold it up. Reach it. Two more inches. Up and rest. Push back into a child's pose. You. Walk your hands to the right edge and stick that left booty out. It'll help kind of get that little bit of stretch. Because you notice that supporting leg works, so now we're gonna do the other side. You're gonna feel it. Let's turn it around, yeah? Shall we? Woo, woo, woo. You dripping in your ass off. I'm blind. I'm blind. But my booty oh. gonna look good. That's where, your, <laughs> that's where your towels were. Oh, yeah. <laughs> She got a little sparkle in her eye. <laughs> it's real. All right, all fours. Let's find our position. Lengthen your spine, hold your core in, long through your back. Right leg straight back, arabesque. Nice and parallel, squared hips. Stabilize the whole body, straight arms. Turn it out to the shoulder. Let's do it in and out. In and out. In and out. Keep that going. 30 seconds, yeah? Sometimes that second side's a little harder. I know, because I know it's you, oh, you feel it right away. <laughs> yeah, this side was already burning before. Uh -huh. Right. I like how you said to keep the knee higher than the foot, because that's something that really helped me really open up. Yeah, that's that turnout, one. yeah? About five more seconds. Two more. Good, one more, let's hold it in. Hydrant, close it and open, but remember, don't rest the knee down, open. 
Just pressing out. Once again, like Anna said, knee higher than the foot, and you're really gonna grind into that booty, yeah? Yes, I love this burn. Yeah. Yes, we love it's it. Cardio too. We want like some more. Yeah. We want some more. Cardio mode. <laughs> Push through those hands and drive that knee open. So keeping our arms straight. Yes. Good. They're burning. The shoulders are on fire at the same time. All right, you guys ready? Let's circle it. Circle it. All around circle. Woo! Oh. Yes. <laughs> oh, yes. 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 That's right, Poopy. <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Mind over matter, ladies. 15 more seconds. Keep breathing, because you know we're going to be doing the other side. Or other direction, rather, yeah? <laughs> <laughs> So if you have a whole hour, you can do it all again. Yeah, all right. <laughs> Let's reverse it. One more round. Yes. Your classes are usually an hour, right, Roman? Yep, they're usually an hour. Oh, that's good to know. Uh -huh. But it's not all booty isolation, <laughs> I hope. Sometimes it takes oh my 30 gosh. minutes of booty isolation. We stretch for like 30 minutes, though, right? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> this is intense. 10 more seconds. Oh, baby. My left cheek is screaming. Yeah. 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 <sighs> Fight through it, though. Fight through it. Ladies. Three, <gasps> two, one more big circle, ladies. Around. Get it. Yeah. yeah. All right, down under our forearms. Stretch that leg back. Touch down. Kind of stick your booty up here and pull your abs in, and then try and stabilize your pelvis. And let's go up. Up, yeah. Pressing gently into the forearms and kind of pushing back into your hips. Still working that booty. Wide shoulders, try not to sink. Keep your posture, even though you're in this downward position. Let's go 20 more seconds. How are you guys doing at home? We're feeling it over here. Yeah. Yes. <laughs> yes. Feel your pain. Yes. We're in it together. 10 more seconds. It's our last exercise before the stretch. Let's hold it up. Higher. Get it, Dre, get it. Don't leave us hanging. We're waiting for you to pulse it up. Remember, foot higher than the hip. Not down, only up, up, up. Always trying to get it longer, always trying to get it higher. Hold that core in. This is the butt lift I needed. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Get it up, up. You want the booty up, not down, yeah? Always. Always. <laughs> get it higher, Dre, get that foot up. Oh. 10 more seconds, you got it, girl. Keep it up, Whoop. less down, more up. I'm shaking, I don't know about you. Five, four, higher, three, two, now hold it up, reach it. And rest it down, push it back. Ooh. Yes, walk your hands to one edge of the mat. Reach your booty to the opposite side. <sighs> You have a little switch. What an awesome challenge. Ooh. We're gonna do a nice little stretch for that right now. Let's go on up all fours, hands and knees. Reach one leg back at a time, find a plank. Heavy heels. Find your posture for a moment. And then pike your hips up and back, downward dog. You can adjust your feet a few inches forward if need be. Reach your hips back away from your hands. Roll your shoulders out away from your ears. Knit your ribs together through the center. Actually use your quads here, pressing back really hard to get your heels heavier. <sighs> Breathe there, good. Now let's reach the right leg up to the sky. You're gonna bend the knee into your chest, come forward into a plank, turn your front leg out and reach that foot to the opposite hand. Reach that knee down, scoop back with that back leg. Oh, God. oh that's happening. Oh yeah. <laughs> Make sure you're not sitting on that thigh. Keep your left hip in line with your opposite foot. So keep your hips squared, basically, oh, that is makes what you want to think about. Yeah. Yeah. And let's go down under our forearms. Oh. Find your posture. And let's go wide elbows and drop it down. Oh, breathe into this. You guys doing okay in the stretch? Yeah. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. Much needed. Yeah. Stretch is ideal. Yeah. 
And sometimes these hips get really tight and it can be really hard to even go down and relax in this position. Totally normal. If it's difficult, put your focus elsewhere. Think about your abs scooping in, like they're the undertow of a wave. And imagine your head and chest just pouring over that undertow, pouring over that stretch. And every few breaths, you might be able to relax a little bit more of your body weight into this. You know? And I've got my foot pulled in a little closer than yours. Yeah. Because I'm a little tighter. Yeah. Yeah, of course, if you want to go deeper, you can always scoop back away from that leg. Ooh. Or vice versa. <laughs> <laughs> that is intense. Woo! <laughs> For next time. Yeah. Let's lift up onto our hands. You're going to brace down into your hands. Brace into the back foot, ball of the toe. Brace into those three points and go back into that downward dog lifted leg up. Push it up. And replace it down. Find that downward dog for a moment, square it off, reach. Keeping squared, which reach your left leg up, bend the knee in, turn it out, and pigeon stretch on the other leg. You can kind of scoot your back leg back a little bit. Now try and push your right hip forward towards that foot so you're squaring off. Yep. Lift up for a moment. Yeah. Breathe it up, 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 up. Get that right hip forward. Yes. And then slowly drop it down. And just slowly go into this. If this is too much, you can totally just stay up and just breathe on your posture. Totally fine. Sometimes you'll even find one side is totally side over the other. I can hardly go all the way down. This is this my side. tighter side, yeah. Breathe through it. Once again, you can focus on just gently pulling the belly in and try and pour over that hip stretch. And of course, if you're more flexible and you want to go down, you can drop your heart. You can put your hands behind your back and let all your weight hang down. All options, yeah? All relative. All right, let's place our hands down. Push through the balls of your toes on that back leg. Reach it back up, lift. And downward dog. Square it off, find that. And slowly begin to walk your hands back to your feet. You can bend your knees a little bit if you need to. And then just roll it up all the way. Stretch your arms out and up. Let's just do our little cool down. Let's face camera. Oh. Woo! Turn well, those legs out. Feels good. Oh, let's cool it down. Let's just reach down to the floor. Let's actually place our hands on our thighs. Hang your hips for a moment. It's okay if your shoulders shrug up. Just sink them down. Kind of go from side to side. You can drop one shoulder. Just opening up those inner thighs. Yep. And switch. Try and relax your toes. Ah, oh, yeah. Let's reach our hands to the floor. You're going to extend. Let's extend the left leg out and get down. If you have a little bit more flexibility, maybe you can go a little wider. Yeah, let that open. Pull your waist in. Yeah, good job. All right, let's turn to a lunge. Back leg stays straight. Now check in with that front leg. Make sure your heel's directly underneath the knee. Yeah, inside hand is going to place on the inside of the arch, on the mat, and then rotate towards that leg. Ah, oh, yes. Good. Let's drop your back knee and sit down into a twist stretch. Yep. Hug that knee with your left arm. You can use your back hand to lift up. A little extra booty stretch there oh, too. Oh yeah, yeah, I like that. Oh. Posture. Oh, and we're gonna unwind. Go back into our lunge. Just a nice little flow stretch. Let the back knee go down. Place your hands on your thighs and let's just lift our chest up. Pull your waist in, get that nice hip flexor stretch. Shoulders pulling back and down. Open the heart to the sky, breathe it up. Oh, let's reach back to the mat. Straighten that back leg, reach it. Turn back to the front, inner thigh stretch, feel that. And we're gonna switch sides, over. Uh -huh. Switch it, reach it out, take your time, find it. Mm -hmm. Try to turn that leg out and drop your booty down a little bit. Lean forward with your heart to help your balance. Yeah, nice, That's a all right, let's. Deep stretch for me. Yes, open up those hips. All right, let's go to the side. Lunge stretch. Make sure that heel's directly underneath the knee. Place your inside hand down and rotate towards that front leg. Good, Anna's doing a little modification with the knee down. Looks great. And drop that knee and let's go into that twist. So you're gonna hug that front leg with your right arm. Back hand's gonna press you up. Remember, we're all about the posture, if nothing else. Oh, let's go back through our lunge. Find it. Back knee drops. Mm -hmm. 
Let's lift up on that thigh. Shoulders pull back and down. Open your heart. Breathe up through your waist. <sighs> Love these stretches at the end. My jam. So good. Go back through that lunge. Turn back to the side. Inner thigh. Yeah. All right, now gently bring that leg into a second position. Similar to how we started. Let those elbows rest. A little squat stretch. <sighs> now really slowly, we're going to slowly begin to find our pelvic posture. Tuck your pelvis under you. Lift your chest up. Try to open up those hips really slowly, as slow as you can. Begin to press up. Open hips. Scoop. Tailbone down. Oh, once those legs straighten, we're going to walk our feet in all the way together. Stretch up to the sky. Clasp your hands behind your head. Let's arch up. Lean from one side. And then the other, opening up the chest, stretching through the upper back. Relax those arms down. Give ourselves a curtsy. Give each other a curtsy. <laughs> Yes, and at home we give you a curtsy. Thank you for joining us. Good job, we did it. Woo! Yes. Oh my gosh, Romy, you yes. are amazing. Did it. Nice job. Good job. Thank you so much. Way to go, guys. You slides. Yes. Awesome job. Thank you for <laughs>